IELTS speaking and accents. It's something many people worry about, but the good news is you shouldn't worry about it. In fact, I think you should embrace your accent. Embrace it because it shows who you are. And remember, English is an international language, so there are many, many accents. The thing you need to think about is your pronunciation. And accents and pronunciation are two totally different things. As long as people can understand you easily, then you should rest very well at night and not worry about your English. Feel confident. Because think about it. I'm from Texas in America and I have a Texas accent. There's other people in my country from New York and they have a different accent than me. And there's people in Europe, there's people in London, there's people in Scotland, Ireland, different native English accents, but still speaking perfect, fluent English. And that's true about other countries, Russia, even Jamaica, maybe Pakistan, speaking perfect, flu perfect fluent English, but with an accent. Embrace your accent, be proud of it, it's who you are. You're speaking well, and that's good. But let's talk about the difference for IELTS speaking and what you need to worry about. First, for the IELTS speaking part of the exam, one-fourth or 25% of your score is graded on your punctuation. So punctuation is very important for your IELTS speaking exam. We'll talk about that more. So my advice, pronunciation needs to be practiced. Listen to fluent speakers, have great teachers and speaking coaches if you can, they will help you. Movies are fun and they are helpful. What about accent? It's 0% of your score. IELTS does not grade you on your accent. They grade you on your pronunciation. So maybe you have a Scottish accent but your pronunciation is perfect. No problem. My advice for your accent is embrace it. Like I said, you are Azerbaijani and you have an Azerbaijani accent, but everyone understands you when you speak English. Great. Be proud of your accent. Punctuation. Let's talk about that. Here are some examples of ways you can do well or you can do poorly with your pronunciation. Here's an example, a common example that I hear a lot. This and these. This and these are a big difference in these words, but the pronunciation difference is small. For example, we use these for plural nouns. You probably know that, but we use this for singular nouns, but sometimes people say this apples, and they mean to say these, but their pronunciation is not correct. And so now they say this apples, and now they have a grammar problem and a pronunciation problem. So be careful with this. Here's an example. Another one with pronunciation is where to stress the syllable in the word. The more fluent you become at speaking, the better you get at stressing the right syllable in words. So for example, the word incredible has four syllables. in cred i bull Four syllables, but where do we stress it? Right here, incredible, incredible. But if you stress it on the wrong syllable, incredible. That's a pronunciation problem on your IELTS speaking exam. So these are advanced things you can do to really raise your score. Practice your stress and your intonation. Third, here's another example. Make sure you have all the sounds in the English language. For example, this word, common word right now, vaccine. If you say waxine, then you have a pronunciation problem. So make sure you have all the sounds. Here's another one. Maybe some people say, thanks, but we have the th 
the th sound in English, and it's a very difficult one to pronounce, but very important. Thanks. So pronunciation is important here. Now, lastly, here's a very simple test that you can do to, to gauge if your pronunciation or your accent is okay. Think about this. Can people understand you easily? Do, they, do you speak English and they look at you like, what? What did you say? Well, you probably have a pronunciation problem. But if you speak English, even with your accent, and no one ever asks you, what did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Then probably you have great pronunciation and you should feel confident and relax. So here's the difference between accents and pronunciation. Have a great day.